Hi, Caleb here from Tosa Tool. Today I want to talk about the Tosa Tool modular pin puller. So it's used as a reverse hammer to pull out pins and plugs. So it'll come assembled like this and there will be an extra baggie of set screws that I'll talk about a little bit later. So let's take this apart. Alright, so first thing I'm going to talk about is the quarter 20 socket head cap screw. So this is made from hardened steel and it's a class 8 socket head cap screw and it has a black oxide finish and this is 8 inches long. And next thing is the set screw. So this is a quarter 20 set screw and it's um, Let's see, one inch long. And there are three extra of them that come in the baggie. So four total. And this is also a hardened class eight. Um, and it has a black oxide finish, as you can see. And next we have the slider. So this is 4140 pre-hardened steel. And this also has the black oxide finish. And next we have the extension nut. And this is 7 eighths inch long. And this connects the socketed cap screw with the set screw. And finally we have the stopper nut or the lock nut. And it has nylon on one end and that's to keep it in place on the set on the screw. Um, and this is to adjust where the extension nut will be um, on the socketed cap screw before you put the set screw in that extension nut. So now let's put this back together. So I'll first I'll put the slider onto the socketed cap screw and then I'll put the stopper nut on quite a ways. Now I'll tighten it with a 3 16 inch Allen wrench on the socket head cap screw and I'll thread this nut on a bit. That should be good right there. And um, I thread it on so there's only about a quarter of an inch left on the extension nut um, so that this set screw will fit, will sit um, quite a ways out. So I'll put this extension nut on and then I'll tighten these two nuts together, the extension nut and the lock nut. Okay. And now I'll put this set screw in. This set screw in. And I'll use a, an eighth inch Allen wrench now for the set screw. And I'll tighten it down on the lock nut instead of the extension nut so that the extension nut and the lock nut will stay together well. Okay, that's pretty tight right there. So now that we have it together, I'll show a couple different um, uses for this. So the first thing is these um, hardened steel locating pins. These are the dowel pins. So, um, so you can, these are kind of tight. So. So tap that in and so now 
I mean, I, I can pull it out with my um, finger, but you know, if the hole was just a, a little bit uh, smaller, then you know, it would be almost a press fit or light press fit. So then this would be really good to use. So you just thread it in, in the top and pull it right out. Now I'll thread this one in here and again that one pulls right out. So now let's look at these vice locating pins. And these have that quarter 20 threaded hole in the center too. So I'll put these in here and these and tap these down to make sure they're tied up against the plate. And these have are, are really um, thin on the top. So if you can't get your fingernail up um, underneath these, they'll be really hard to pull out unless you have this, where you can just thread it right in and pop it out. And now, um, let's look at these plugs. So these come with your set screw and plug kit. Um, so I'll tap one in here and use this tool to tap it in. Okay, and there we go. So now I, I cannot pull these out with my fingers, so I'll have to use, definitely have to use this one now. So I'll thread it in a ways. And then I'll pull it out. So that was kind of hard to get out and it would have been almost impossible without this tool. So you can make this yourself but with all the time, money, and effort you'll put into it, it's going to be way more efficient just to buy it. And you'll be using this probably every time you build a setup. So if you need other modular components that you don't see, submit your design to Tosa Tool today. And if you need financing, it's available up to six months interest free through PayPal. Well, until next time, take care.